As far as I know, that's the only spot. That's pretty minor, comparatively speaking. Yeah. Man, I wish they would have left the name of the fire department on there. That would have been cool. Well, they took that off before I could even... Oh yeah, I'm sure they did. I think that's part of their... Uh, they did not want it even associated with them after they yeah. sold it. Which is weird. But my guess is it probably has water in it right now. It does. I didn't fill it completely up. Just enough that we could run the pump and then yeah. drain it? Mm -hmm. Did you have plates on it at one time? I did not have anything on it. You didn't have anything on it. And I don't know why they had stuff on it, unless they were required. It has a plate, a plate thing in the front here. And they and didn't run, and they, but they didn't run one. No. Okay. No. And they, I also noticed on the title that it has a like an exemption, plate, a plate number on the okay. title. But I don't know. Uh, and they told me that it was. Uh, Check that out. Go ahead. They told me that it was. Uh, there was some back and forth with them at the at the D DMV because it was, you know, yeah. is it exempt? Is it not exempt? I love the fact that yeah. they didn't take that off at least the mm -hmm. property of the city of Corvallis. That's mm -hmm. cool. Huh. A little over ten thousand miles on it. And Amazing. It has a few cosmetic things that, you know, uh, mainly from age. Yeah, show me anything that's old. bad. Like 47 I'm... years of, you can see that there's... Yeah, the little window the seals and stuff. stuff. But you've been keeping it inside for the most I've, part, I've right? I've kept it inside. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's inside from the time uh, fall hits to the time... Um, yeah, it's only outside it's... in the summertime when you use it. And then yep. as soon as yep. fall, it just goes back inside. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. What's, what are we covering here? Well, when you when you when your moth fall in the thing, you don't want. You guys maybe don't have mice where you're at, but no, we do. Maybe you do. Yeah, uh, they, they like to crawl. They, in the they will crawl in anything they can get into, and so. I gotcha. In fact, they've crawled into this thing, and I had to, I had to, fix some things. The the floorboard, where you have all these levers going through and stuff, mm -hmm. they're almost impossible to seal up. And yeah, uh, so why totally a lot it. of poisoning and stuff like that. But, you know, okay. batteries. batteries in there, that's just a little service. Okay. You got a panel here. Old stuff. Here. More storage. This all opens up here. More shots. Like this. And I believe probably if a person was going to use it for, you know, really being on the spot for fighting a a fire mm -hmm. or something like that you would take there's there's hookups back in there okay um, I think on both sides and you take in here and just take the two inch canvas hose and you would just and roll just it back and fold here. it back so this would do, be do, your do, do, quick quick release just grab that puppy yeah. and you just go yeah okay that type of thing I never used it that way because and these are obviously were like chemical fire extinguishers probably I, or powder probably yeah this here is a is a primer okay. for priming the pump, which is it, it's antifreeze you keep in here. Okay. Oh yes, yeah. and that and, antifreeze. and that protects the pump mechanism, but it doesn't protect it in the sense that the pump you have to drain all the water out of okay. it in the winter time. Yeah. All of that, of course, stays okay because it's got got antifreeze, whatever yeah. part that is. Yeah. But there's a prime. Uh, over here well, on the, the thing that a few of my friends that have had these wildland trucks that keep in the winter that live in areas where I live have said, mm -hmm. you take the pink antifreeze, you put it in RVs, and you mm -hmm. dump it in every water tank and put a gallon or two gallons oh, in every okay. one. Because then when you pump it out in the spring with right. water, right. it's all you know biodegradable. It's not going to hurt anything, right? Because mm -hmm. it's the RV stuff, but it keeps it from freezing and cracking and mm -hmm. it lubricates all your little O-rings and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I think now, that's what I'll probably do. Now this, because I'm had no need for it from basically October to, to say May. Mm -hmm. uh, drain all the water out of it. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a pet cock on the on the bottom of the pump that I can show, show me you that. Yeah. Need. Okay. When these things here get energized, as far as having water in them, okay. Then I take a air compressor and I'll pull this puppy out and blow back through it i'll blow back through okay so put a little yeah. put it on the end and just blow yep. back just okay. blow everything back through the line otherwise 
freezing condition, you have water that's trapped yeah, in these things. Absolutely. They're, they're history. Yeah. Um, okay. You've got a you've got a lever on. Now these are power reels also. Okay. They power back back in. And my experience, this thing here doesn't work very good. Uh, really needs to probably go up over the top when, okay. when you're driving. Uh, my experience has been that if you're not using this, of course, then you don't energize this system. Sure. Uh, so there's then, a valve there right is, there. There is no water in this. Currently. There's water right now because I've been running water through the other side. Just to, so I can see that it works, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's another compartment. Okay. It shoots water out of the front. 100 feet of hose here. Okay. Shoot. Like that. Right so on. So no out. bumper sprayers, but a hose on the front. Hose on the front. Yeah, I could probably make something that comes out and how to spray the, the fan nozzle. I was thinking mm -hmm. about for like a gravel road or something oh, yeah. like that. Yeah. 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 I've never ran the winch. I just took it that it is it PTO? I'm guessing that it is. It's got a uh, some controls up on the dash. Okay. And we could, yeah, most of the time they're PTO. That's fine. I'll I'll yeah. figure that out. I'm it's, not worried about uh, that. This is an oil reserve, I'm guessing, for the gearbox for the winch. I'm not sure whether this is the same size as what would work for a hydrant. A hydrant. I don't. I never did suck water with it. I don't. Did you uh, always just drop a hose up top and then just fill it that way yeah. wherever you go? Yeah. Whether it be a water facility or whether it just be your garden hose, right? Because mm -hmm. you said it's 500 gallons, yeah. right? Yeah. To my knowledge. Yeah. Um, well, that should be correct because the the brush fire trucks, the trucks that are hey, stay down, the trucks that are smaller than these, the mm -hmm. The one tons and the ton and a halfs are 250, okay. 200 or 250, okay. and those all have a Pierce firebox, which is similar to this. It's a stainless steel, mm -hmm. stainless steel tank. Um, I think and those tires yep. are uh, old, very old. You would have to go through the. You would have to go. Th I've got manuals on the stuff. You'd have to go through the manuals on if you were going to suck water out of the water source. Mm -hmm. That was other than yeah. It's going to be a drop hose with a little kind of box on the end with screens on it and stuff yeah. like that. If you're this, sucking out of this, it. from what I understand, is very susceptible this this type of pump, which is kind of strange because you would that's what you would be getting your water from. Right, it's a wildland truck. Right. Yeah, um, but there was no screens or anything with it. But you have to be careful you don't suck up yeah. debris or anything like that. More than likely, it'll just get filled at the water station right down the road from me and be a hose on the top and the mm -hmm. same type of thing. So I never did try that. I'm sure it's, it, everything else works. Uh, okay, and that's just I've got it storage. right now. The, I've got the hose and this one emptying back into the tank. Okay. And of course you've got your disconnect here that disconnects all the power from the entire system. System that's on now. Okay. switch on here you okay. got primer which probably doesn't have to be used choke anything like that okay I I haven't really necessarily I, I won't say that I've got the system down you know every engine starts a little bit different yeah. sometimes yeah I would have to say that it probably how ironic is that that there is uh, a cigarette lighter on the starter for a fire truck bad job fire people come on um, i guess you want to charge your phone while you're spinning out here yeah, maybe, maybe now. <laughs> which yeah. was not a thing in 1975 no uh you've got left tank right tank here i believe if i understand it right because they always want you to have gasoline or that thing that's pumping water, it somehow has a reserve of some sort that even if the engine runs out of fuel, get fuel, this thing here will at least and take you to the end. Is there a foam tank somewhere? That this thing has a foam mixer thing evidently in it, yeah. but what I understand about that also is uh, kind of a pill. Yeah. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't foresee using it, I'm just making sure I know what it all is. Okay. 
I, I got a couple firefighter friends back home that know some of these older trucks, and my thought is I'd go over everything with you, and then we get home and invite them to come over and go, okay, let's let's just fire everything up and let's figure it out, kind of by their their thoughts as well as what you tell me. So, and obviously you used it for several years, so you know it works. Uh, 19, uh, 2016. 16. One year you got it. Okay. Okay. And these just flop back close, right? That's just idling. Come grab the hose, Ben. I love the hose with that. I'm trying to dry out my car. Don't hit that. Don't keep my dog. Okay, that's good. That's why he did it. So, it's a water you, pump. you just turn that valve off then? Is that all that you can turn that valve off? It says in the book, you're going to need to. Yeah, yeah. The type of pump that it is, you don't want to run it not pushing water through. Okay. It'll it'll superheat the water. It's got like, um, it's got like porcelain inside of it. Okay. Some, some now there's like the, it's like a porcelain, discs or something but, but yes you, you could you could pull this down and that shuts off and that water. shuts the water off here okay and by doing that you would you could bring the engine down and you just wouldn't want it to cavitate or, or and then what do you switch to do the gun up top well there's some stuff up on oh, stand on the back and see if I can I think it's this one right, I think actually it's this lever right here. There's a, there's a trap door up here. It keeps a, it keeps a, a tab on the top of this knob. And the knob then comes in and runs this right here. I was wrong on that other my other fire truck had to where you could run out here. Okay. I'm not sure 100 percent whether you. Well, I see that valve can. right in front of your head there too. There's there's an outlet right here, yeah, right. and what what it was designed for was filling this box up, I believe, underneath here. Okay, I was talking about that valve right okay. here. Okay, this right here is operated, I believe. Um, here, these are all just to keep it. I think oh, it's the, I think it's spinning. this I think it's this lever here. Okay. Now, if I'm wrong, you'll get wet. <laughs> oh, because it's going to come right here. Because it may shoot out right okay, well, there. I'm going to. Uh, so. Okay. We can we can try that for you if you want to. I'm going to start it while you're up there. Well, you can if you want to. You may need to give it a little bit of maybe a push. In. Is it? The throttle, you just turn left and pull on it, right? No. Am I doing wrong here? Okay. Things that pull. The you twist. The, the throttle will. Oh, push the if, button. If that's you it. push the button and pull it out, okay. and then it stays. Okay. Um, that's what I wasn't doing. Yeah. That's what I was doing wrong. I didn't know. I was doing <laughs> Pick that back and hold the other one. Yeah. Did we shut that off? We did shut it off. Yep. Okay. Okay. Let's just let it. Oh, 
back. I got a couple here. Hang on. Yeah, that's kind of one of those things where you wouldn't be doing that if you were. Okay, I got it there now. Okay, I'll try it. Let's. You make, you, you're not going to want to be standing there. <laughs> Lucy, get out of there. Yeah, I've off. got wet a few times. Hey, come here. Uh, oh, here's the leather here. It's got so many stinking things on it that you... Yeah, I got it. You got it. Let me come around. It's a mindset that you've got to get all of these different areas. It's a lever right here, valve right here, right here behind this, right here behind the behind the wheel. Yep. Okay. That's for parades. Yep. Okay. That's for parades. This one here is for hooking a hose in here and running it back over the side here. It's got that on both sides. Okay. And I think yeah, those slide out. Hundred percent sure. Cause I never, I never used any of that. So where the hose is dropping into that hole right there, that's the hole you want to use to fill when that's, you go to go to a yeah, fire station or whatever. Hole, okay. Yes. Okay. I'm guessing. I'm guessing, Ben, that. You would hook your two-inch hose on here, and you would yeah, fill it, and you just accord, you, accordion it in there. Yeah, you would reel, either reel it in or accordion it in, and you would pull that out, and yeah. that would be your side. If you want to stand out here and put yeah. out, you're talking probably probably these probably only had about 25-foot hoses in them. I didn't. I have would think it, between there. these two hose reels and the gun on the top, you're not. I mean, yeah. I guess unless you're on a real like at my house, I, I don't have as much properties you do. I only have five and a half acres, but I'm in the high desert where the ground right now is you could throw a match down and my whole place would light because right. it's already dry. Right. But this parked in the right spot, if I turn my sprinkler system on on my grass mm -hmm. and then I park this in the right spot and I put both my kids on either side and they just hold a hose, I think that, I mean, I don't think we're gonna be able to do much more than that, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not like if you had three or four hoses going at one time, it would make more difference than just the two. Right. Because yeah. you can only get so much pressure when you start adding more hoses. Right. So, and I think that the a three hundred gallon per minute pump. Right. Which, and five hundred gallons of water. Right. You've got to. You have to kind of determine what's the most important place mm -hmm. to. If you had water shooting out of this thing from every angle. Right. Uh, you're going to deplete your water supply pretty right. quick. Right. So, thankfully uh, for me. The water system that we use in the rural area where I was at, the place to fill up is only about a block from where I have my house. So mm -hmm. I can, I have an agreement with them if I have a fire truck that I can go there and fill during a, if there's a fire situation, they will just give me the key to the lock and just go in there and as much as water as we need to fight the fire mm -hmm. is fine, obviously. Mm -hmm. So you're ridiculous right now. It's not that hot out here. <laughs> in most situations for what I use it for, um, you got 300 feet of hose here, 300 feet of hose on the other side. Yeah. You're, I, I wouldn't even get out a canvas hose unless I had to stretch completely right. across the clear cut to right. fight some fire that was... Yeah, rich. those hoses you have spooled up in there, I feel like those could just be in the back here. You'd never even need them. Yeah. And they're just like an emergency, basically. They're mm -hmm. just keep them out of the sun. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you know how much gas is in it right now? One tank, I think the other side's almost full. Okay. And this tank here, I think, is about uh, maybe five eighths. Does the fuel gauge work on both sides when mm -hmm. you select left to right? Yep. Okay. Yep. So you select left to right, and that is that selector, the selector for changing tanks as well as the gauge, or is the gauge and the selector when separate? You, when you switch over here, and it says switching tanks, left or right, every each tank will come up on this gauge. As, so that is the only what, switching system. Reads. So that switches the fuel as well as the gauge. Meaning yeah. that sometimes they have a lever that just switches mm -hmm. the tanks. Then you have to switch the gauge oh, okay. to that tank. No. When you switch that, it does everything. You're automatically so going to this tank or automatically going okay, to that one tank. One-shot deal. And you've used both, obviously, so yeah. you know they're both fine. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let me climb up here and see. Okay. 
<laughs> so you got forward reverse, you got your transmission, then your shifter levers down there currently we're in two wheel high. And then a, a, a monkey of those, which it looks like there's some uh, description, a monkey of those in some way can go four wheel high or four wheel low, right? Yeah. Which I don't, I don't want to do it, but. It, I think the book goes through that. I, I had it in four wheel low, I believe, one time because I was. I don't want to do it because of what, what you and I discussed, but. Relatively steep hill, but um, a four wheel drive in yeah. or out. So right now four wheel drive is out. Mm -hmm. Road range high and low, so it's in high, mm -hmm. and it's in out of four wheel drive, and then your PTO winch, which there should be another. That's this lever right here. Yep. And then winch direction in or out. You have winch, winch control, control right there forward. So that's forward for, so that's your forward reverse for your winch. Yep. You can okay. also operate just like we did on the pump on the panel back there. You can all operate it right here. Yep. Plus. I gave you your pressure gauge. Pressure. I'm really surprised. Mouse yeah. Activity, oh yeah. I'm really surprised how long them. Corvallis kept this in service for how old it is. Yeah, I was it too. must it must have served them very well in the sense that it wasn't worth replacing until they got enough mm -hmm. grant money to, to justify it. I wish they wouldn't have done that. I've got a, another one of these books that is that is in pristine condition. But the little buggers, if they can get into anything around here, they will get into it. Yeah, I know.